This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This is the Earth Science Classroom. This video is looking at our planet's history. All of the 4.54 billion years of our history and looking at a certain term that we use in reference to the Earth's history, which is Precambrium. Where this word comes from, how we use it and why we use it is detailed in this video. The Precambrian time is a generic term given to any time on Earth's history before the Phenerozoic and the Cambrian period, which is part of the Paleozoic era, which is again part of the Phenerozoic Eon. Eon is the largest time division we have for geologic time. And the Precambrian time is a lot of time. This is the majority of time on Earth. The Earth's been around since being a planet. This is 88% of all of Earth's history. From the 4.54 billion years of Earth's history, 88% of that four and a half billion years is termed Precambrian because it is a word that means before or prior to the Cambrian period, which is part of the Paleozoic era, which is part of the largest time division, which is the Phenerozoic Eon. Now, before this Cambrian period, you have Precambrian time, which can be divided into three separate eons. Now, the shortest and smallest eon is the first and initial eon, which is the Hadean, which is the beginning of the Earth, the formation, the cooling down of the Earth from molten magma and the cooling of the elements and the heavier elements going to the core and the lighter elements going out hydrogen, helium and lighter elements, silicon, magnesium, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, all settling in to their rightful places based on the chemical reactions and density and the formation of the moon through the Theia collision, the formation of oceans and also the formation of basic single-celled bacteria, which would be prokaryotes. And this happened around four billion years and we have the Archean Eon, which is in the next one and a half billion years, which involves more progression of life from single-celled to the start of multicellular life, which is eukaryotes, which has that internal membrane and becomes more complex. We have the ozone layer formation. We have the bad iron formation in the rocks showing the presence of free oxygen and the emergence of photosynthesis and the development of a more complex ecosystem on our planet with different supercontinents, and oceans fluctuating over this time. And then we get to the Proterozoic Eon, which is the last and longest eon in Precambrian time, which is two billion years, which lasts from two and a half billion years up to 541 million years ago. And we have this as development and continued evolution of life through to about one billion years ago, we have teeming of multicellular life on this planet, both in the oceans and starting to come on land. And we have 500 million years of this progression to the point where we hit the Cambrian explosion, which separates the Proterozoic Eon to the Phenerozoic Eon and start of the Paleozoic era. And of course, the start of the Cambrian period, which is where that explosion name comes from. And we have this long expanse of time. Now, why is it grouped up in this one term well, because there isn't much really going on in terms of the evolution of life, which is where a lot of the divisions of time in the Phanerozoic Eon, which is half a billion years to present day, where we have this great example of divisions of life evolving and becoming more and more complex as time goes on with the more st stable oxygen, stable atmosphere, and tectonics, which is creating this environment, this planet for life to flourish. But before that, the Precambrian time, that is where we have a lot of the initiation, the beginnings, the, the geological, the chemical, the physical, and obviously the biological components in place to create the Cambrian explosion and create the expanse of life and species on this planet going forward into the Phenerozoic Eon. 
This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe, like, and share. And if you want more content and videos on Earth Science, please check out my channel.